Tech House producers who are struggling with sidechain compression to make sure your kick and bass sound good together, this is the only technique you will ever need in order to make sure your kick and bass relationship is good and sounds like a pro. I used to struggle so much trying to figure out how much I should sidechain the bass to the kick. I've seen a lot of YouTube tutorials where they just give you a random value for the sidechain compression or they give you like a very generic preset for kickstart or shaper box, etc which I think works only for that specific context. Whenever I don't understand something or I want to make sure it sounds good, I always reference it from pro tracks. So what I'm gonna do is analyze the top performing tracks on Beatport for Tech House and see what sidechain settings they're applying to their own kick and bass using this one technique that I've developed. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I do is I grab the track and I look for a part of the track where the kick is alone or I steal the kick. Let me know in the comments if you guys wanna learn how to steal a kick from a Tech House track. I hope you guys appreciate I'm risking a copyright strike for you guys, but let's see how we can find the kick. So over here, there is no bass going. Generally, the start of the track is the best place for you to find an empty kick. And then what I do is I change the BPM of the Ableton project to the BPM of that particular track. Over here, I've written the BPM, it's 127, so I'm just gonna change the track to BPM. All right, so now we have this kick. So we take that kick, copy it, create a new audio track, and place it under when the kick and the bass are playing together. So right here, you can see I have kind of done it before, but I'm gonna just you know show you what I've, I do. I do this, and we duplicate, 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 right? The next thing we do is we sh make sure that the kick and bass are aligned perfectly. So if the lines are perfectly aligned, that's exactly what we would want, right? And so we go so meticulously in detail. We go really, we zone it really, um, you know, really deep and then make sure that the kick and bass is aligned. And then what we do is we insert a utility or the specific utility preset that I use is the phase invert and we drop it on the kick that we just copied, right? What we're trying to do is we're trying to phase cancel the kick from the original track. So all you hear is everything but the kick. So if you listen to it now, you don't hear the kick because the inverted phase kick has canceled the regular phase kick. If you turn this off, you'll hear the kick. Now this is super useful because now we can isolate the bass, right? And the way we do that is we go into the group and I just put a multiband dynamics on it and I'm not using multiband dynamics for compression at all. I'm just using this band solo so that I can just you know bounce it out and record it and resample it into a new audio file. And then I just click the record button here after soloing this group and make sure that the audio track is set to resampling. Okay, so now we have it resampled. Note that it is quieter than the original track because resampling goes through the master and my master is set to minus six just to protect my own ears. So you can just boost this 6 dB, right? And it's louder. The reason we use the multiband compressor is because we're not really interested in any of the other elements. We're just focused on the kick and the bass. So we're just dealing with that right now. So now we have the bass and we have the kick. Okay, so why, do, why did we isolate the bass? It's not just so that we could reuse it or anything. We're trying to figure out the sidechain preset, right? So this is where I use kickstart on the original track. So what we do is we create a new audio track and set it to resampling and arm it while the kickstart is on the original song. And then we just make sure that the multiband dynamics is turned on with the solo enabled so that we can literally just get only the side chained part of the low end of the original track. And this is where we record it. Okay. 
And while it's recording, this is where we can actually control the side chain settings to make sure we can kind of like mimic the original audio that we recorded by phase canceling. Right, sometimes it might not even be a hundred percent, you know, but in this situation, it seems like it's like 90%. It's almost like this. We want to make sure we all can see it very clearly. So we just like expand it a little bit. All right. And then we can also, there is another thing we can do. Yeah. So that's pretty close, but we can even go one step further and see if there's any particular issue over here by changing the different types of like the presets of kickstart all right that's pretty closed but you can still see over here there's a little bit of phase cancellation that is going through from the kick so let's see if that can be reduced there you go we have a, just turn down the percentage a little bit to to do is this yep this can be used as a pretty good preset to help sidechain tracks where you have a kick that is as long or in this style of tech house right and especially for 127 bpm tracks with the kick as long as this tail using this kickstart plugin could be a good idea and for a very limited amount of time i'm taking one-on-one -on -one students to help you guys in your career to make sure you get signed our students have gotten signed to very reputed labels in the melodic house and tech house realm so don't miss out because this is not going to last forever i only have a couple slots left so jump on it while you can and book a call with me asap if you're also looking for really accurate remake project files i have put a link in the description below to my gum road hope you have a great day and catch you guys later